Hello and welcome to my workshop. This video today is devoted to all the bloopers and stuff ups that have occurred during the filming of Australian Inventors Workshop. So I hope you enjoy them and have a bit of a laugh. Split some off this. Because I don't have a bandsaw that's going to handle this, I'm do it the old fashioned way. Hello and welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to do Hello and welcome to my workshop. Um, three, two, one. Hello and welcome to my workshop. Uh, this week I'm going to introduce something, well actually a couple of new uh, set in. Three, two, one. Hello and welcome to my workshop. So that again. Uh, scrap that. May you mm, three, two, one. You may notice something a little different uh, today. Just a little over sixty millimeter, which is um, two and a half inches. I have to deduct that old, off the overall height of the. Um, say again. I have to deduct that from the overall height of the. I'll say it again. So I have to deduct that from the overall height. What is it? What am I building? Start again. So I have to deduct the height, overall height of these off the over. I'll say again. Three, two, one. So I have to deduct the height of these off the overall height of the storage unit um, to get to the same height as um, my, say again, to get to the same height as my workshop bench. We'll also be, say again, three, two, one. We will also be using uh, Mac 3, sorry, say again, three, two, one. We will also be using. What will we be using? Oh, yes. Three, two, one. We will also be using AtCam, uh, AtCam Express. Uh, that is. Uh, say again. Three, two, one. 
We will also be using Atcam Express 2015. So you'll have a chance to see the new program. So I've just cut out the... Can I see that? Yes, I can. Oh dear. Um, well, something seems to have happened. Well, that's got the base plate firmly secured now to this bench, so now to put the. Oh shit, what's it called? Now to put the uh, the column in. Hmm. Say that again. Three, two, one. So I've just treated that now with some. Oh God! If I can think of the name of it. Um, oh yes. So I've just treated this now with some linseed oil, uh, really that's all it requires, and um, from an old piece of uh, split log to a work of art, uh, there's probably some of it that's something, do you know sometimes um, things creep up on you because it wasn't until I was about to fit the little knob here that goes on in here so you can lift the top up to change the speed. I realised that this was 50mm underneath this <laughs> beam here and I couldn't open the lid. So and of course a good tradesperson never abuses his tools or his equipment. Okay, having got the, the faceplate securely fixed, uh, now we'll put it on the lathe. Um, sometimes you can't rely on the markings uh, of the, the angle markings on your. Oh, if I can remember what the name of it is. And then to make sure it fits. And then to make sure it fits.
take a bit off it. Well, my father always used to say to me, measure twice. So yes, this is uh, going to be one for the one for the, the girls there, and uh, you see it's a, a nice uh, representation there. Come on, Teddy! Ho ho ho! No, stay there. So we can carry on. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, me making a fool of myself because sometimes I feel a little bit like Dobby here. Um, but it's been very enjoyable for me to, to make these videos and uh, I hope you enjoy them as much as what I have making them. Um, so if you have please press like, subscribe to my channel and um, go to my channel and uh, have a look at all the things there for you to see. CNC routers, wood turning, uh, shop jobs, cabinet making and um, also do tuition on Mac 3, NC Studio and at Cam. So, Hopefully there's something there for you to watch. So, bye till next time.